Hi all. In this tutorial, we're going to go into more GIF setup detail, and I'm going to show you how to create a more advanced GIF setup. If you're looking for a basic GIF setup overview, check out the GIF setup tutorial here. Number of pictures refers to how many frames you have in your GIF. As you can see, we have 9 in this particular GIF setup. Frames per second adjusts how quickly your GIF will animate. With 9 frames in our current GIF, I'm going to set ours to 4 frames per second. Print frame number allows you to choose which single frame from your GIF you'd like to print out, if printing is available. Now below, you can see each frame number will automatically coincide with the green screen numbers you have uploaded. You could have this GIF take a total of 9 different photos of your subject, one for each frame, or you can choose to have less photos taken. For this GIF, I want a total of 3 photos taken. I'm going to set frame 1 to take photo for an initial photo, then set frames 2 and 3 to use other frames photo, and choose frame 1 to use that initial photo. Next, I'll set frame 4 to take a second photo, and have frames 5 and 6 use its photo, then the same with frames 7, 8, and 9. Choosing Don't Take Photo for any frame will leave that frame without a photo, while selecting Repeat First Photo applies the first photo to every frame in the GIF. Next, you can set a filter to your GIF images under the Filter field. Just highlight the filter you'd like to use here. And finally, Page Layout will display any page designs you have selected in the Page Designer tab, and can be selected for your GIF images here. Click OK to save your changes to the GIF then make sure you have it selected, and that GIF mode is enabled with Auto Apply or User Select. Clicking OK will save all the changes you've made in the settings screen. Now, you're ready to animate. 